I jumped and woke suddenly. My dream was interrupted by some external source. But in my haze, I couldn't figure out how or why. Moments passed as I lay on my stomach with my head raised, listening for anything that would have pulled me from my needed sleep. Nothing. Then, just as I started to lower my head back into my pillow, I felt it. The tiny bits of movement that brushed through the peach fuzz hairs of my exposed back. I spun and jerked wildly in a panic to remove whatever spider or insect that crawled on my skin. I shivered as fear and discomfort raced through my veins, desperate to remove whatever it was that I felt. As I rolled back off the bed, I saw it. The partially squished body with two broken legs as the others tried to pull itself away in its own panic. I never considered myself to be overly squeamish. Bugs and spiders didn't really bother me. From a distance. The small garden spider wouldn't have been an issue in an actual garden. But not in my bed. Not on my back where I couldn't tell what it was. With a sigh, I climbed out of bed and removed all of my sheets, not wanting to sleep with spider guts. I did what I could to remove the poor creature and then threw my sheets in the wash. Jumping to the sound of my alarm, it took me a moment to realize I had fallen asleep on my sofa after the incident. I'm not sure how long it took before I fell asleep, but whatever happened, I didn't get enough. The day was going to suck. Pushing myself up, I made my way to my room to get the stupid alarm to stop and then went about my normal morning business. But everything came to a sudden stop when I turned on the light in my bathroom. I saw several splotches on my shoulder and I turned to see more on my back. Nearly a dozen crushed spiders. As if they all crawled on me at once and I rolled over on top of them all. I just didn't understand what in the hell was happening. I quickly took the longest, hottest shower ever. I remained scrubbing my skin even after the water turned to ice. Teeth chattering and fingers very pruned from the water, I finally climbed out and wrapped a towel around myself to warm up. I went in search of any explanation for the spiders. Any webs, eggs, ways they got in, anything. I was at a loss. Hey man, you look like shit, my friend commented as I finally made it to work, still exhausted from the lack of sleep. My shoulders lifted into a shrug. I didn't sleep well. Seriously, Ethan, you okay? You look like you're coming down with something. I don't need you getting me sick. I'd end up taking it back to my mom. I'm not sick, dumbass. I just didn't sleep well. I promise, Ben, I'm not going to risk you getting your mom sick while she goes through chemo. He eyed me skeptically. If you say so. Then he made a point of getting to work further away from me. Just great. I had one bad night's sleep due to some stupid spiders, and now he's avoiding me like I kicked his puppy. I tried getting into work, but the memories of the spiders plagued the back of my mind. I needed to get some serious bug spray before I went home. Lost in my thoughts, I rested my arm on a short half wall of the store that Ben and I worked in. It wasn't until I felt the tickling irritations on my arm that I looked down and saw a larger wolf spider starting to climb on me. I jumped sky high as I shook my arm and hit the spot where the spider once was. What in the hell was going on? Ben raced over just in time to see the spider race toward the wall and duck behind a box of merchandise. <laughs> Did you see that thing? He asked. See it? It tried to climb on me. Dude, your face. He broke out with unrestrained laughter. That really scared you. You don't really believe in that curse, do you? On instinct, my hand reached over to slap him upside the head but it froze in midair as I processed the words he said. What curse? Ben's round face scrunched in confusion. From last night. He looked at me expecting me to remember. However, I didn't. I couldn't. What did happen last night? 
It wasn't until he brought it up that I realized my thoughts were only on the spiders, but I couldn't remember anything that happened the night before. As I was trying to piece information together, I could only remember that it was Wednesday, so Tuesday would have been game night with our friends. But I couldn't remember going, or dinner, or getting home. My silence hung around us as I watched the area where the wolf spider had gone, hoping it didn't come out again. Really, Ethan, what is going on with you? Bad night's sleep. I barely slept at all. I scratched at the back of my head. So, wh what happened last night? Ben's face morphed into serious worry. You really can't remember? It was an epic game. Alex accidentally melted his sword, you were cursed by some spider goddess to become her minion, and I was hit on by a succubus. Seriously, did you fall for that? I questioned quickly, desperately trying to hide the shiver of fear at hearing about some spider goddess's curse. He shrugged. She was hot. Leave it to Ben to risk his character's life for a sexy fantasy in a game. Hey, it's better than what you did to get cursed, he said as he started to walk away. That caught my attention. What did I do? My friend shook his head. You stole a magical artifact from her, so she cursed you with some invisible spider tattoo in the middle of your back to give off pheromones to attract spiders to you. It will just get worse until you return the artifact or until the spiders swarm you and kill you. Bad luck, man. Very bad luck. He then smiled wide. Thank God, it's just a game. Then he ducked around the corner before our manager walked by. Before I could stop myself with worry over bills, I flagged down my manager and asked to leave early. I needed sleep. More importantly, I needed to fumigate the fuck out of my home. And that's what I did. I sprayed and washed everything I could, and then went out to my car and folded myself into a comfortable sleeping position across the back seat while the poison hopefully killed anything that was inside my home. Shit, I needed sleep. Yet I couldn't find it. The paranoia ate at me. What if more spiders crawled out of nowhere once more? Hell, I even made sure all the windows were up instead of using a blanket. I wore socks, shoes, sweatpants, a tank top, a long sleeve shirt, and a hoodie. Even if something was to crawl in, I wouldn't be able to feel it on my skin. However, I could still feel my skin crawl everywhere that they had been before. Memories haunted me. Fear of new spiders tickled at the back of my head. And sleep evaded me. Giving up on my efforts, I made my way back inside and tried to open the windows that had screens on them to get rid of the harsh burn of the chemical sprays. Nothing could have lived in that place anymore. So I made something to eat and sat on my chair to binge watch The Office. I just needed comedy to keep my brain busy and not think about the spiders. However, I couldn't bring myself to sit on the sofa again. Too scared I would finally fall asleep and wake up with more guts. I jolted awake as I nearly fell out of the chair dozing off. But as I looked around me, I screamed. Hundreds if not thousands of spiders crawled all over every surface of my house. And in the middle stood a woman, short, thin, and pale skin contrasted by the long black hair and golden eyes. I want my bracelet back. I climbed on top of the chair as far as I could to get away from the spiders around me. I don't have it. It was just a game. I want it back. But I had no idea how I even got in the game. I couldn't remember the game or what my character took. It was just a game. My heart pounded as I tried to beg her to understand. I didn't have what she was looking for. Spiders parted and made room for every slow creeping step she made toward me as my panic climbed to new heights. Hell, I think I even pissed myself a little. But as she stood in front of me, her golden eyes pierced my soul. 
searching deep for the truth that I spoke. Perhaps you don't have it, but I like you. I'll take you anyway. It only took moments as my screams were drowned by the instantaneous swarm of eight-legged creepers 